Hey guys, it's Steve here with Hangsters Hot Rods. And before we get to the newest addition to our inventory here, we're gonna go over some things that we're doing here at Hangsters to improve the purchasing process of our vehicles for our customers. If you go on our website at www.hangsters.com, and maybe there's a vehicle on there that you wanna change something about. Maybe you wanna change the wheels and tires. Maybe you would like that vehicle to have uh, fuel injection or air conditioning or a different exhaust system. Maybe a different hood or stripes. Uh, maybe you want digital gauges or so on and so on. Give me a call, I'll get you a quote of what it would be to change that feature on that vehicle to make it perfect for you. Also, we, have, we want to remind everyone that we have shipping and powertrain warranty included in most every vehicle on our website at www.hangsters.com. Shipping is within the 48 states and powertrain warranty is engine transmission differential, internally lubricated parts three months or 3,000 miles. And of course, if it's a four-wheel drive vehicle that you want to get from us, it would include the transfer case and the front differential as well. Also, we want everyone to know that we have financing for, again, mostly all the vehicles on our website. Just go to next to the vehicle that you are interested in purchasing, click on the financing tab on the website that's next to that car, fill out the application that pops up, hit submit or enter down at the bottom left, we'll receive it, send it out, and we go from there. And if you would like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can see videos of our current inventory, including this one, and videos of past inventory that we've had to get a sense of what we bring in here at Hangsters Hot Rods. Well, now we're going to get to our newest edition, and this particular one I am very excited about because I love these cars. I just love them. So when we got this one in, I was very excited about it. What we have for you today is this beautiful 1970 Ford Maverick. Um, first thing you're going to notice about it, it is the paint. It is in a beautiful grabber blue, one of my favorite colors. And of course, we've got the black striping on the hood and the side of the body, and we're going to go over that as we go around the car. Second thing you'll notice is the wheels and tires. We got the beautiful US mags here with the light gray centers and polished lips. And then we got the Cooper Cobra raised white letter radial GT tires. And of course that is at all four corners. Moving along here, before I start on our gas, we're gonna address our side uh, striping. We got the grabber striping on the side here in black with the 5.0 cutout. That is exactly what's in the car. Uh, we're gonna see the engine when we come around to it. Now we're gonna go over our first gap driver's side between the front fender and the door. Very even going down, gaps on this car are great. Body lines, lines up right on the money here and here. Um, our driver's side of our windshield, no chips and cracks. The bright work on this car is in very, very nice shape. The chrome on the bright work on this car is really great condition. Got a little scratching here and there, but overall it's very bright, very smooth chrome. We also have the dual body color sport mirrors on both sides. Of course, we'll see the other one when we get over there. Driver's side glass and quarter glass, also no chips and cracks, and these are tinted. Now, our second gap driver's side between the door and the quarter panel. Very even going down. And again, our body lines line up right on the money and so does our moldings. What I'm gonna do now is open up the driver's side door and we'll go over the interior from this point of view. You can see our door jams are really nice. Our seats are in great shape. Uh, bucket seats in the front there. You got the uh, five speed Hurst shifter on the floor there with a the white shift ball. You, got, you can see that the carpeting, the door panels, the seats are in great shape. The dash uh, there, you can see all in great condition there. We do have a dash cover on there, uh, black fabric dash cover. The car is just beautiful inside and out. Moving along, coming around to the back of the car. Again, our back window, no chips or cracks, and it is tinted. Our gaps, the trunk to the quarter panel, very even on both sides. We do have the factory style grabber wing and quarter extensions on the back of the vehicle there with the black striping continuing up over the back side of the wing with the Ford cut out in the center. Now, our rear bumper chrome is in great shape. The chrome is really nice. Light scratching here and there, but overall that chrome is in great condition. Down here, we got the valence that has the cutouts on it with your dual exhaust coming through them. Nice touch there. And then up here, of course, we got our marker lights blacked out on the trim here, and our tail, tail panel is in great shape. What I'm going to do now is open up the trunk, and we'll go over everything in here. Underneath the trunk here, it is in body color. Our jams 
are just really clean. Very, very nice jams, no rust, no dirt, anything in there, really smooth paint. Our weather stripping, intact and in great condition the whole way around. Now, down here in the trunk floor, of course, the center of the floor here on these models, your fuel tank. Now, this is an aftermarket uh, metal here that the gentleman had installed to cover up that hole. It allows you to lay stuff flat on here, but under here, as you can see, is your fuel tank. Um, here, your floor over on the side, you've got your mount. All your embossments are here, your drains on both sides. Just the floor in the car is in great condition, and the trunk in here is really nice. And that's all in a black paint. Moving along, coming along to the passenger side. Again, as I always do when I go to the passenger side, the paint on this car is really nice, really smooth, bright, really has a nice uh, gloss to it. Now on the passenger side, you can see we've got our black striping continuing on this side as well. Down the side of the body, as you'll see, just like the other side of the Maverick and the Grabber 5.0 cutouts, and we'll see that as we go up there. Our passenger side glass, no chips and cracks, and also tinted. Now, our first gap passenger side between the quarter panel and the door. Just like the other side, very even going down, and your body lines line up really nice, and so does your molding. Now what I'm going to do is open up the passenger side door. We can see the interior from this point of view. Again, you can see the carpeting, uh, the dash there, really nice shape, the door jams, the seats, all in great condition. And you even got the piping along the seats there to match the exterior color of the car. Now, second gap passenger side, door to front fender. Again, just like the rest of the gaps, very even, body lines line up right on the money. Passenger side windshield, no chips and cracks. Gap from the cowl to the hood, nice and even going across. And you can see that we got the black striping on the hood as well on a grabber hood with the dual inlet snorkels there. Coming around to the front, just like the back, the front bumper chrome is really nice. Couple light scratching, but overall the chrome's in great shape. We got a lower uh, black air dam there with a front plate holder as well. The front grille is in great shape. I don't see any chips or missing pieces there. Really nice condition. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the hood. We'll go everything, go over everything in the engine bay. Under the hood here, body color. Your uh, back cow area all in body color. Your firewall aprons, rad support all in black. What we have here engine wise is a 5.0 high output fuel injected Ford 302 V8 small block. Um, we have power steering, we have power brakes. We have a Spectre cold air filter here for the cold air intake. Um, we got aluminum radiator, of course, far better for cooling. Fuel injected, of course, this car here, this engine moves, gonna move this light little car along really good and it does run great. Um, we got, of course, we've got strut, uh, shock tower bracing here as well, keeps it uh, firm for handling wise also and having a modern fuel injection engine, of course, a lot more reliable. Great shape under here. Your aprons, all your metal under here, just fantastic condition. Your rad support, just really nice. The whole car is beautiful. And what we're going to do now, we're going to put this up in the air. We're going to show you how nice it is underneath. Hey guys, we've got our Maverick up in the air. We're going to go through the undercarriage components as we always do. Starting at the front, your control arms and so on look to be of a stock style. We do have KYB front shocks and rear shocks on the vehicle, however. Um, we do have our front sway bar as well. Um, our belly bar here is in great shape also. I don't see any holes or anything in that. That looks really good. Um, we have disc brakes on the front, drum brakes on the back, and we'll go over that as we get back there further. Um, our front frame sections looks good. And looks good. And I do want to say the underneath of this car is fantastic condition. I can even see the lettering and the numbers on the uh, frame sections here. The floor and everything in this car is beautiful. You can see every little weld and so on. It's just very, very nice condition. And we're going to go over that as we get back. Um, our oil pan on our 5.0 liter Ford small block V8. Our rear main seal. Our case seals on our 
five speed Borg Warner transmission. And our output seal all nice and dry. I don't see any leaks on any of those. We do have long tube headers. Got your oxygen sensors mounted here. Going into the dual exhaust with a crossover pipe going into dual mufflers. And we'll see that a little more as we get back there further also. Um, the floor around here and back, as I had mentioned, is just fantastic condition. Every little weld you can see, it's just so clean. Every little pinch weld, every, every little spot weld, I mean, you can see all your embossments, all your lines, your frame. It's just so clean. The floor is in very, very nice condition. We got our e-brake cables here going back. Balanced drive shaft. Again, we got our drains, all of our mounts, fasteners, all of our embossments and sections and lines on the uh, floor, as I'd said, is just beautiful. Now coming on back, we've got our dual, these are Imco mufflers. Exhaust goes up and over and out the back through the valence cutouts, or we're gonna see that as we get back there also. Our input uh, seal at the rear differential, nice and dry, and our gear set seal also nice and dry, no leaks there at all. Uh, we do have leaf spring suspension on the back also. Our front leaf spring mounts both look really good. Our rear, fr rear frame sections look great. Like I said, the whole floor in this car, front to back, is beautiful. And on this side as well, that looks great also. I'm coming around to the back of the car. Um, like I said, we've got drum brakes on the back. Our fuel tank here, no straps here because this is part of the floor. Tank black, looks great, nice, uh, nice and clean uh, on that as well. Our floor up above the tank again, like I've mentioned uh, before, also in great condition. Now our exhaust comes out, comes on back, and comes out of the cutouts in the lower valence, and we got chrome tips on there as well. Our rear spring hangers looks great and looks great. Floor up above the differential, also fantastic shape. Every little line, uh, fixture, embossment, welds are all look nice and clean there. All in all, it is really nice condition underneath here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to drop it down, fire it up to hear the engine run. 